Hello, gang. Hello, friends. Hello, gang, friends. Welcome back. Ah, thank you for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. Are you well? I hope you're well. If you're new, hi, my name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff, for nail stuff, and the stuff she does for nails is done with nail stuff and stuff for nails and stuff for nail stuff and stuff for nails. Today it is day, I'm not sure, I've just been editing a whole bunch of them, day two, this is the second one, of the Madame Glam Advent Calendar and our Advent Accent Adventure. Num number two, second year. Why am I doing this to myself? So what do we have in today's box? We have a full size, no wipe top coat. I freaking love Madame Glam's top coat. It's the, my favorite top coat I've ever used and I've used a million. I just love it. It's creamy and I love it. We're also using, what was that, the strip? I think this is the strip. And we're going to do two nails in this. I'm only going to do one coat because look at the opacity. And I'm going to half cure them because we're going to burnish this glitter. So a half cure for Madame Glam is 15 seconds um, because a full cure is 30 seconds. And that's going to leave it a little bit more tacky than normal so that we can burnish this glitter on. So I'm going to cover the bejesus out of the nail and then tappy tap tap and then we're going to press press the glitter in and then we're going to very lightly burnish so I'm not pressing down I'm just holding my hand kind of aloft and letting the finger rest on it and just moving it around I'm not putting pressure on it and anything that's not sticking to that layer will crumble off so you are left with one glitter thickness of glitter it's only one glitter deep because anything that's yeah I just said that and then we'll dust off the excess and you can see that it is now super smooth and flat it's just one thick one glitter deep burnishing with obviously you can't do this with a big fat chunky glitter but burnishing with fine glitters is one of my favorite things to do ever and then we are going to Put a base coat you can finish the cure after burnishing if you like but i think maybe it's good to have a little bit of tacky underneath for the next thing but maybe finish the cure so i put some base coat down because i'm going to buff because i want to paint on this now and i want a nice smooth surface and also we're going to be using their foil gel foil gel uh, and we only want the foil to stick to where the gel is. Otherwise, it might pick up on tacky gel polish. So we're going to use a dotting tool to try and create a circle. Oh, circles. Why are we not friends? Should we call it a truce? Should we just be friends? Why not? And then I'm going to cure that, full cure. I'm taking this foil, this has got a papery background, if you have foils like this I take a lightly damp, <laughs> a little bit damp lint wipe and wipe off that papery background because otherwise it just doesn't transfer. I don't know why they have it, it's silly. So we'll wipe that off and then press it over where we have our foil gel. So now, as I said, if, if the rest of the nail was tacky with gel polish you're going to get bits pick up on that. Although foil gel is the way to go for using foils. It's just a godsend. And I'm going to just go over it, and make sure I haven't missed any bits. And then pressy press. I, I get a bit carried away with foils. I keep pressing just to, just to be sure, to be sure. And then we'll pop that aside and do two little baubles. Um, one will be overlapping the other, um, whether you want the one near the top at the front or the one near the bottom in the forefront, then you can decide when you come to outline them because you just have one at the front. <laughs> outline the one you want to be in the foreground fully and the other one you'll just, you'll skip out the bit where they overlap. So we're going to foil these 
as well and pull I was having a bit of trouble I think it's these foils I don't normally use papery ones or maybe I, I don't know but I just um pressed over because it's got kind of a non-uniform pattern it does I'm not sort of affecting it too much by pressing in different areas and then we're taking base coat again why oh yes this is a preventative measure because I'm going to paint now if I f up I can wipe it off without wiping over the foil and maybe removing some of the foil so that's why I'm doing that so I've just put a base coat down and I figured why not wipe and buff you could just go straight ahead and paint on that base coat but why not wipe and buff we're here let's make it super smooth and I do find it easier to um, outline no paint on a buffed surface I just prefer it so we're taking the Madame Glam gel paint you can use gel polish for detail and things I did for like eight years and then Madame Glam sent me some gel paints because I thought I never needed them I don't need gel paints I've got plenty of gel polish colors oh no I love them so I'm using those but you can use regular polish that's fine stop fucking talk I've, I haven't shut up have I haven't even pressed pause and taken a breather let's see if we can go the whole video and now I've outlined the bauble and then I think I flash cured or full cured flash curing is your friend when you're doing detail because if you do mess up the next step you can wipe it off without wiping off what you've done that you are happy with so we're outlining this and going to put some detail on this like yesterday's one and like a few I expect in the coming weeks is inspired by somebody I saw online oh where's the picture I knew I was supposed to be more prepared I'll put put their name on the on the screen um just to give credit to where I got the inspo from that was for the big the big bauble one and now we will outline these as well so I want the, the lower one at the front so I'll fully outline that and then the one behind it will obviously miss out the outline where they overlap but you can do it the other way around if you want the other way other one at the front <laughs> how am I doing we're we doing okay it's day two how is everybody um I hope you're all doing all right and preparing for Christmas I'm so not prepared it's um it's not good we're going to do some little swirls now so just a C and I'm doing in sections I can't do a full swirl like that in one sitting <laughs> I can't eat a whole one so then we'll carry on with swirls in the am I doing that in the other direction yes and then oh no it's the same direction okay and then bringing it around from the side so just little C's um, and then more little C's rivers little rivers <laughs> The reason I'm doing this design for the top coat um, day is because we've got glitter that's buffed and we've got foil that's all hollow but also been buffed and I just thought that would be really satisfying to use the top coat on. So that's why this design today. I'm going to do little swirls around this bauble probably shouldn't have tried to squeeze one in there but not to worry and then on the next one we'll do a straight line down the center and then we're going to curve lines either side of it but starting at the top and finishing top center and finishing at the bottom center so it kind of gives a as if it's going around the bauble has anyone got their tree up yet I haven't although it is only November the 30, 30th, learnt today, 30 days have November. <laughs> I was so sure in my head that there were 31 days this month, never mind. We've added a little clasp at the top, just a sort of box, and then we're going to do a loopy bow. So I've done a big curve on one side and then a kind of S on the other side to give it a bit of movement and to try and recreate the image I was looking at. But, and I've said this before, look at the image you want to do and then do your 
nail. Don't constantly keep comparing it to what you're trying to recreate because you will see the the image you're recreating is the original, the perfect, the exactly how it has to be. And if yours differs at all, you're going to beat yourself up about it. Don't. Your version is perfect. Your version is your version of something. It doesn't have to look exactly the same. Um, and I had to remind myself because I did those first bows about five times and just thought they're not as good as hers. And then thought, well, they can be as good as mine. And that's that's just the right amount of perfect that you want if it's as good as you can do then it's perfect so we've added another little bow here making sure that we did it high up enough to leave room for the little bow legs wiggles what are those i don't know bowy bits um before hitting the baubles and then I'm, I've cured everything before adding dots. If you add dots to a wet line, well, not so much with gel paint, but with gel polish for sure, then the dot might kind of merge into the line a bit and you'll lose the definition of said dots. And then because I have a thing about adding more dots, I thought we'd add some here as well. Why not? And then once that's done, we will give that a full cure and then we will top it and it will be super satisfying. There we go. I really like those. I stopped looking at the picture and I was really happy with them. So now we're taking our brand new creamy, delicious, perfect thickness, not too thick, not too thin, just right top coat. And we're going to top and reveal all the glitter and the shiny foil and mm, topping buffed, burnished, hollow glitter what does it get much better let me know what your favorite thing or most satisfying thing about doing nails is mine is topping buffed glitter it's just oh it's like when you hear the hoover pick stuff up oh so good i hope you like these two nails let me know if you're going to try them don't forget you can use code mischo30 for a whopping 30% off at Madame Glam. Here we are with the flash on. Uh, if you do like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment and hit that subscribe button. And come back tomorrow for day three. I appreciate you being here so, so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. -bye.